campus, an autopsy will be performed on Ms. Rock in Unite, but authorities say there were no signs of injury and her death does not appear suspicious or criminal in nature. Let's turn out of the economy and troubling new data suggesting that inflation is causing a big slowdown in the housing market. Some economists say a housing recession is... Uh, I guess I'm recording. Good morning time, good evening time. Good afternoon time, whatever the case may be in your part of the world, crisscrossing wires, and uh, I just got a little tip for you guys. Uh, I kind of put it up in a few group chats already, and um, I just wanted to uh, wow, discuss that real quick, and uh, that's pretty much going to be it. It's not going to be a full live stream. Um, cause I got some stuff to do to get busy today. But anyway, uh, I received the, uh, comment on my YouTube channel on, uh, the Chinese lightweight bomber bike, uh, review video. And this comment was from supposedly... A guy that works in one of those manufacturer plants over in China and uh, this is what he said he said with those Chinese enduro frames they are heavy as like 27 to 28 kilos uh, recently we upgraded all the welding changed covers to alloy drilled out holes and swing arms and cut out seat and frame and managed to reduce weight to close to half the weight please don't try, try to jump these frames or use them for heavy off-road use unless you strengthen and weld the seams prop properly they were basically tack welded we also changed the suspension to linkage type similar to the Suron as the stock setup really didn't work right from the geometry aspect also using a motor that you can fit a seven speed rear cluster is a better option if you choose to pedal this bike but uh the rest of it's not important uh the part that's important is about the welding on the frames now smoky Suron had showed that to me uh when he first got his bomber clone and uh i took a look at it but uh I think his bike is actually one of the newer uh, bikes that they upgraded the welding on. But just in case, you need to inspect your frame and make sure all the seams are welded really good. Now, if you take a look at Smokey Suron's bike, this is the type of welds that they're talking about. However, this bike has been reinforced with some solid welds but there are some spots on these bikes like see right there those are just two tack welds and that's it now that would be an issue if the rest of this frame headset was just tack welded like that as you can see the rest of it is welded pretty solidly all the way around but there are some frames that all they have is just those little tack wells as you see right there see those two little tack wells some of them just have those tack wells all around the entire frame and in places where there shouldn't be just tack wells like on the swing arms some of them just have little tack wells at these uh joints where the uh suspension goes they just have like i said tiny little tack well spots as you can see these were heavily welded uh properly but um you know just check your bike and make sure uh another place is underneath of there now as you can see uh it's not a full weld going around but um it's a little more than just a tack weld and then it's solid around the other seam so i mean uh i don't know you just might want to check your bike out if you have a chinese bomber frame you know 
make sure it's good to go especially the earlier models because uh, I hear this is just a problem with some of the early models they uh, redid them and uh, the newer ones are in a little better shape but um, I was even looking at this frame but honestly this frame is not one of the cheaper frames this is one of the more expensive frames uh, I think I paid like $5.99 for this frame but if you look on the inside you can see there's solid welding all around the seams no tack welds at all and i know this is a good frame because this is the same frame that um what is it uh recon uses and uh the other bike that looks like these uh shit you know the damn bikes but anyway um the delfast sorry about that y'all know i have brain freeze all the time but yeah the delfast use these same frames and so does recon and they sell those bikes for ten thousand dollars so i know this is a good frame but anyway just check out some of those other frames and be sure that uh your seams are as they should be all right so that's it that's all i got for y'all today i'm gonna be out here for a minute and uh when i get things situated i'll be back later doing